Do you want to know how you can help your three-month-old baby sleep? Do you know what is even happening at three-month-old sleep? Are you feeling like completely lost or are you feeling like, yeah, we're getting into a good rhythm? Either way, I'm going to share some things that are going to be really helpful for you and your three-month-old. My name is Anna McMillan. I'm the owner of Little Week Sleep. I'm also a certified sleep coach, mama to two, and the creator of Sleep Sleep Baby, Nurturing Newborn Sleep and Navigating Naps. Can you tell that I love helping parents? And I am absolutely crazy about sleep, and I want to make sure that we give you lots of legitimately helpful tips that doesn't involve leaving your baby to cry it out. That's not what we're doing here at all. Three months is one of my favorite ages. Why? Because they're so malleable, they're so flexible, but they learn a lot too. They're little sponges. Not only that, our awake times are getting longer, and that little personality is coming out, and you're getting to enjoy some fun tummy time together, as well as connecting eyes to eyes. So what is happening with three-month-old baby sleep? Things may have gotten into a pretty good groove around 10 to 12 weeks, as they formed their understanding of sleep and how they prefer to get to sleep. What you'll find is at three months, it's not the four-month regression. We'll go through that in our next video. At three months, though, we do have a three-month growth spurt. The calorie intake may go up for a little bit, and we may have some more night feeds, and then it will go down again. Don't worry, a growth spurt at this age is very normal. So what does sleep look like for a three-month-old? First of all, they're going to have three to four naps a day. It's going to start to vary here, and it's somewhere around three to four months that we actually go down to three naps. Before, that's going down to two naps later on at six to eight months old. Three nap life is pretty good. That last one is a nice cat nap. However, if you're in four naps, it, it has really good benefits because baby is very flexible in their timing. They're going to be awake between naps about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. This gives you a little bit more time to work with, right? We're going to change their diaper, we're going to give them a good full feed, and be able to play a little bit before bedtime or nap time. Make sure you're watching those sleep cues so that you're able to facilitate sleep without having baby become overtired. By 12 weeks, we also are having the startle reflex that is decreasing. The swaddle can be exited now. You can finish doing that if you need help doing that. We do have a video on swaddling and how to remove the swaddle. It's important that we remove the swaddle by 12 weeks for development of rolling, safety, as well as ease of transition. You're going to find at 12 weeks, a lot of things are changing. This is also when their body clock comes in sync. So over this time, I hope that you've gradually started moving bedtime forward. But this is where usually babies are able to start getting that seven to seven rhythm going. Of course, with night feeds. But it is when you can start those earlier evenings. You're also going to find that those naps start to vary. Have some naps are longer and some naps are shorter, but we will have some of them and it's starting to gain a more consistent length. Things are going to become more predictable now, which is really nice. Some things that are really important to focus on for a three-month-old is making sure that feeding is at the start of the awake time. That awake time is the period of time between naps that they're able to be awake without getting overtired. And by having that feed at the start of the awake time, baby is able to have a fuller feed and then be able to enjoy playing and going down to sleep more easily. This is also when they're really honing in those skills when it comes to sleep. I actually really like working with this age group and that's why I created Nurturing Newborn Sleep and our hybrid course between Sleep Sleep Baby and Nurturing Newborn Sleep because they're so easy in the fact that they're very gentle. We can be very gentle, but they're malleable, that we can change sleep. Plus, we still have night feeds and multiple naps. This is a great time to learn sleep because at the four months, we're gonna have the four month regression. By sorting out sleep now, we're able to really hone in on how to get to sleep, and it makes things so much easier so that the four-month regression goes from four to six weeks to three to ten days.
Isn't that amazing? So at the three month point, we're working on moving that feed to the start of the awake time. I also wanna make sure that you're getting your bedtime routine really consistent. As baby is really keyed into communication now, I don't know if you've noticed that yet. They're really keyed into communication, so having routines is extremely helpful as it is the main way we can communicate with baby. You'll know that baby is able to increase their awake times between those naps when they start having consistent 45 minute naps or when you're not seeing those sleep cues anymore. It's also around this age that their sleep cues can become more definite as they sort out their communication and have different ways of communicating different things. Don't be afraid of trying new things when they throw you a new cue. Who knows, that one might be like, I'm bored, I'm overstimulated, I just need mom time, I wanna go to the shower with dad. <laughs> They're starting to get a little bit more preferences, and with preference comes communication. You are getting a master's degree in your baby, and so it's normal to have some highs and some lows here. This is where things become a little bit more consistent and a prime time to work on sleep. So make sure that you have that feeding at the start of awake time and you have a consistent bedtime routine going, as well as those three to four naps per day at an hour and 15 to an hour and a half awake time. If you're not sure what a bedtime routine looks like for a three month old, let's go through it. First thing is that we're gonna do a bath. This can be every second night or every night. You can even do a, wipe warm, a warm wipe down. The warmth can really help baby calm them down. Have a lower lit lamp on, not super dark, just relaxed. All technology off an hour before bedtime. And then put them in their diaper. You may give them a baby massage, relaxing, keep it very calm, spend quality time together, talk to them, play a little bit, and then give them a feed. With that, after the feed, you can then put their pajamas on, obviously a diaper before the feed, but then put their pajamas on, sleep sack, or a swaddle if you're exiting the swaddle, sleep sack, and then a book and a song and into bed. This is when your baby is able to learn to go to sleep from fully awake to fully asleep. Isn't that exciting? While still enjoying those naps on the go and those cuddle naps, we wanna keep those, the skills. Your bedtime routine should take about 20 to 30 minutes. Any longer and baby will lose concentration and get frustrated. So let's keep it short and succinct. 20 minutes without a bath, 30 minutes with a bath. Remember, this is your quality time. You're setting up communication and habits that will help your baby feel safe and secure for a lifetime. I love sleep because we are teaching and we're facilitating something that does help baby for a lifetime. It helps with development, brain growth. I don't even know if you've noticed that baby may be even starting to learn to roll. It's early, but it's totally possible. Make sure you check out our rolling video and how to help them roll during the day so it doesn't affect sleep at night. Subscribe below so that we can make sure that you get all of the tips that you need to for up to 12 months and on other sleep topics that are gonna help your family. Remember to comment any questions and if you have, if you need any help, please reach out to us on our website, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, we're here for you guys. We're cheering you on, you got this. Have people in your life been telling you, you'll never sleep again? Are you starting to stress about how life is going to change with a baby or adding an additional baby? I've been there. And mama, it's time to cheers your new best friend, Little Wink Sleep. Our nurturing newborns program gently and gradually lays the foundation for sleep in a way that you're able to manage and understand. We use a science-based approach that fosters healthy attachment. You'll be able to let go of the stress of newborn sleep and enjoy this stage, knowing your baby is set up with the right skills. Nurturing newborn sleep includes all our insider coaching strategies, taking you step-by-step, step, troubleshooting along the way, as well as...